So let's have a look at the data that we will need to solve this case study. Please open file attached to lecture, which is called clean data convenience store version six empty. And here, as always in the master sheet, we have a table of content. In the sheet data, we have the information about the sales by regions. On top of that, we've got date of the transactions, the name of the product and sales. We have three products, mass, sneakers and Oreo. However, due to mistakes in spelling, we cannot straightforward analyze this data. As you can see, the very same product is written in, in many ways. For example, mass is written with two S, sneakers without the C and dot at the end. So we have to clean this data before we analyze them. Let's have a look what we want to get in the end. So the end product should be pivot table where we show the sales of each and every product by month. And on top of that, on the very right, we've got the slicer that enables us to do the analysis by regions as well. Now, there are at least two ways to do that. And to make your life a little bit easier, we have described them in the sheet tasks. So there's option one and option two. I recommend that you now pause lecture and you try to solve this case study using the date sets and the tips in the sheet tasks. Once you're done with the solution, please move to the next lecture where I will show you how we have done it. I hope you managed to solve the case on your own, but just in case, let's go through the solution together. So first we go to data, we select the area and we convert it into table by pressing Control T. Press OK. And now we have a table one. This is an Excel table. Now we will get it into Power Query. So data, and we use the from table range option. We press OK. And we have the table in the Power Query editor. First, we're gonna change the name to option one. The second thing we're gonna do is to extract the month from the date. So we select the column date. We go to add column, date option, month. And we have the month. Now we have to do something about the names. And for the time being, we're gonna follow the option one protocol. So we will add home from examples. And he will give us here space where we can try to translate what we see into what we wanna get. And based on that, he's gonna create a rule. So instead of Oreo with double E, we want to have just Oreo. Mass with Z is just mass. Snickers. As you can see, he has started guessing. Some of the guesses are wrong, so we have to fix them. The more data you provide, the better the rule will be. Mass, there it should be real. It's also worth checking the things he has altered. For example, Snickers, he has translated into mass, and this is obviously wrong, so we're gonna modify that. Mass with double S is also wrong. And here we want to have Snickers. Oreo is also wrong. Here he unfortunately put the space in front. The dot is also wrong. And the rest seems to be fine. So as you can see, you have to provide him with certain information so he's able to process it and create rule based on that. Let's press OK. And we have the column that we will name proper name. Now, it's also worth noticing that we have used this column from example. However, if you look at the data, he has actually created conditional column. If we click on the icon of settings, you will see that he actually has created a lot of ifs. So if you have Oreo, then put this and so on and so forth. So if there's something you disagree, you can alter that or add additional clause. In other words, the Power Query did the heavy lifting when it comes to writing down the majority of ifs. Now, it's also worth checking whether we didn't do any mistakes. In order to do that, I'm gonna copy the original query. So we select it, press Control C, Control V. We're gonna call it test of option one. We're gonna remove the columns we don't need. So we wanna just have the original name and the proper name. We're gonna remove the duplicates. And now we can check whether he has done the translation into write form. 
can also sort it. So it is easier to spot. So those things should be masked and Oreo, Snickers, seems fine. So we are done. Now it's time to load it back to Excel. So file and close and load. We want to have a pivot table. We will use the things from option one table. And we want to have proper name and draws, month in the column, sales and values. We can select the whole area, control one, number. So we format that. We can put two rows above and put sales by product and by month. We remove the grid. We put back link to the sheet master. So place in this document master. And last but not least, we insert the slices. So we go to pivot table menu, insert slicer, region, okay. And we can put it into a few columns. So here above in the menu that belongs to the properties defined for slicer, we put three, we make it smaller and we change the color. And it seems to be working. In the next lecture, we will see how you can do it in a slightly different manner.